Hey everybody, welcome back to Uncle Fresh Reef. Today I'm going to show you what came in from Bulk Reef Supply and I'm going to show you how I got it installed on my 93 gallon cube aquarium. So stay tuned, sit back and relax and I'll show you all the cool stuff that just came in. So as you're probably noticing, the play speed on the video is in slow motion. I don't know how I did it, but when I was doing the unboxing video holding the iPhone in one hand, it must have tripped the slow motion button. I don't know how it happened, but we're going to make do with what I have here. And it might be kind of comical, but I'll show you some of the images as quickly as possible. So as you can see here, Bulk Reef Supply does a fantastic job at packaging all the stuff that I got in using bubble wrap and make sure everything's in the proper size box. Everything arrived as it should. So if you're not a customer of Bulk Reef Supply, I highly suggest you take a look at what they have to offer. They have great pricing, outstanding customer service. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this Spears 3 quarter inch pipe True Union check valve. I wanted to get this because I'm getting an awful lot of water coming back into the sump area and running it very close to the top. So I thought this would be a good way to stop some of the water. And I'll give you a little heads up. It did stop it, but it did not stop all of the overflow water uh, coming back down. So it did help out some. This is a pretty heavy duty piece, very well put together. And with the union, I can detach the pump at any time I want. So I'll give you a look at that in a future video. Okay, the next thing I got is going to be these Eheim True Temp 150 watt heaters. I went with two of them because I wanted to add some redundancy and with the controller I'm going to show you, I knew that I would be able to have a fail safe built in. In case one goes bad, I would have a backup. So the 150 is going to take care of the water volume I have in a 93 gallon cube and for the low cost of just under $30. I'm going to go with two of them and I'll show you how I installed it in just a few minutes. Okay, the last thing and the most important part of my purchase is going to be the Digital Aquatics Reef Keeper Light Plus. I went with the Reef Keeper Light Plus for a couple different reasons. One, it was going to do everything I needed it to do and two, it was going to be the cost. Where the Apex does just about everything you could want it to do and more, including send text messages and have internet access with the Fusion interface, which is really super cool. It is a lot harder to use. It does come at a much greater cost. And at the end of the day, knowing that my tank was gonna be in a disaster wouldn't allow me to do anything about it because perhaps you guys have people at home that know about the science and mechanical setup of your aquarium. I don't. So realistically, all I had was somebody that was going to be able to clean up whatever mess happened because I did something wrong or something broke. So the Reef Keeper is going to do everything I wanted it to do. So I went with the Blight Plus, and that was because it came with the extra PB4 bar. It also came with a pH probe and the Lab X uh, module. So with the LabX module, it's going to give me two ports on the bottom that's going to be able to control a float valve. And this was something else I wanted to add in for some more redundancy and safeguards into my system. So we'll take a look at that in just a minute, but here's the Reefkeeper Lite Plus box that I got in. I got it for $289, and I felt like it did a pretty good job of doing everything I needed to do and was a good value for the money. Reef Keeper's been a long, around a long time, and I felt pretty comfortable with it. Another shout out to Tyler at Bulk Reef Supply. When I tell you I wore him out with questions on this, uh, I can't begin to explain the amount of patience and uh, he had answering all my questions. He has a 93-gallon cube and is running a Reef Keeper on his, so it really helped me make this decision having somebody with practical experience. Okay, we're going to skip the video unboxing of all the components inside the Reef Keeper because honestly, what you're going to see next better illustrates all the stuff that comes in it anyway in a more orderly fashion. But first, this is what it looked like before I installed it. This is a half inch birch painted piece of plywood that I installed on the inside of the welded aquarium stand to mount all the electronic hardware on. Okay, check it out. I've got everything installed here and it looks great. Everything's neat and organized. 
Inside the sump, I got the eye temp probe and the pH probe. It's going to help me out to keep the tank more consistent. My JBJ auto top off, my refugium with my refugium light, a little bit of chato that came with my copepods pods that I put in there, and my auto top off with my Tom's Aqua Lifter. This is a custom acrylic float valve setup that I did, and some of my manifold and Herbie overflow. And going around to the back side, you're going to see all the wires that I was able to keep neat and organized with some clips and zip ties and electrical tape. On the back, as I mentioned earlier, my dual Eheim heaters for some redundancy and safeguard against anything or any type of failure. Going over the top of the tank, I got my ice cap gyre. So that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we'll leave it at that. Take care and I'll see you next time.